All right, here we go. Um, the video I posted yesterday or the day before, <clears throat> many of you had some great suggestions, so I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching the videos and thank you for your suggestions. But I want to give a special shout out to Jonathan and Jimmy, who both suggested that I take my charging brick and plug that into the Blue Eddy and see what happens. See if the Blue Eddy acts the same way. So I know these charging bricks taper off toward the end of the charge or the high end of the charge. So I don't know if that'll have any variance on it or not. <clears throat> so what I did is I configured a uh, soldered up an adapter that would take me from my XT60s to my XT90s on the charging side. And then I could plug that into my regular system that I use, including my spark arrestor. Then I can plug, plug that into the Blue Eddy. So let's find out together what's going to happen. Okay, so the charging brick, this is a, a 3 amp charging brick. I also have a 2 amp charging brick. Uh, 42 volt is what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to shut off at 42 volt. <clears throat> I should, should say, with these batteries, most of them are shutting off for me about 41 and a half or so. They don't get to the full 42, which is probably good anyway. All right. So we have 41 volts. All we have left to do is plug it into the Blue Eddy. See what happens. Let's just verify a few things on the Blue Eddy. Uh, before I burn something up. Get it to where you can see it. Sorry about that. I wasn't prepared with my... Uh... There we go. Now you can see it good. You can see I have 45% state of charge. Let's go into the settings and make sure my... Okay, my DC input source is on PV. So that's solar. So that'll accept anything between 35 and uh, 150 volts. Otherwise, it would be over on the car, which we don't want. Eco mode is, whoa, wait, was my eco mode off? Yeah, my eco mode's off. All right, now let's go into the inverter. And I am going to go ahead and plug this together. So we'll... Take these two and plug them together. See what happens. Okay. My charging brick shows a green light. There we go, it just kicked in. Nope, it just kicked off. So it's kicking on and off on a regular cycle. It's drawing down the wattage. I'm sorry, the voltage. And let's see what it's doing on the machine. Now, if, I don't know if you can hear that or not, cycling on and off. Now, again, this Blue Eddy is not fully charged. 
Let's go back to the home screen. 45%. And you can see this thing cycling on and off. Now, riddle me this or answer me this. Is this the MPPT cycling this in the blue eddy? Is it this battery pack? Let's go ahead and try the, uh, the two amp one since we have it available. Give me just a second to get it set up. Okay, I've just unplugged the 3 amp. I'm going to plug the 2 amp in. Okay, got the 2 amp plugged in. Let's see if it'll go into the charging mode. It says it's putting out 41.2 volts. Come on, baby. Okay, this one appears to be doing the same thing on the charger itself. The light is going green, red, green, red, it's cycling back and forth. This one doesn't have a fan in it, so you may not be able to hear it. And on the blue eddy, we are also cycling. There you go. Cycling down to zero, coming back on. Cycling down to zero, coming back on. The, the I guess the last thing I could try would, you know, and I don't have access to it, but if I had access to a, a dedicated bench supply with a constant voltage above 35 volts, you know, I could try that um, <clears throat> instead of one of these regulated. But, uh, and my solar panels. So I'm I have to wait for a nice sunny day to do that because we've been into a bunch of rain and clouds and stuff here in Michigan. So anyway, that's going to be the video for today. Uh, if you guys have any further ideas, man, I'd sure appreciate them. And it's kind of leaning toward this Blue Eddy MPPT as being the culprit. But uh, maybe we'll try some solar panels and see if they go up and down as well. So thank you. Enjoy your day.